the Metal Hand of God is proud to announce a major concert event brought to you by the Fillmore New Orleans Legendary Concert Venue. Mo. Fillmore's coming with another banging show. December 17th. Snoop Dogg. I want to thank Nitor coming to the New Orleans area at the Fillmore, the legendary concert venue. December 17th, Snoop Dogg, on stage at the Fillmore, New Orleans, downtown. What a better way to spend the holiday. Get your tickets now at LiveNation.com, TheFillmoreNola.com, or go to the MHOG podcast website. Click on the links. It'll take you to ticket sales. December 17th, Snoop Dogg. Front to back, and they love my soul. I reply, baby girl, don't you know that I am the fly? Hands in the sky, don't ask why. Party on down with big bound wow. I got style, got flair, got you right there. I got enough stuff to make you do that there. So come on, come on, just having a ball. Beware of the owner, cause the owner's a dog. I got you. Why you waiting? There's a party we'll be making at the Fillmore downtown, New Orleans, December 17th. Tickets at Live Nation. At the filmonola.com or the MHOG podcast. Click on the links. That's right, December 17th. Snoop Dogg. I want to thank Me Tour. To the Metal Hand of God podcast. I am your host, Wayne, and this fine gentleman wearing that red sash and those cute pink pajamas is. I'm apparently the deaf guy because that was fucking loud. <laughs> so is everybody else because they're not going to expect that. Ah, <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I don't know why I did the toot 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 tarn thing, but it was just it was just a spur of the moment. I'm going to do this. Oh yeah. See, I didn't even warn the rum guy. No, like, nope, no, I'm not going to warn no him. Warning. I'm just going to come out with it. He's just going to go toot his own horn. I, and I did. And I did. Toot toot. Yep. So tell me about uh, everything new and exciting, man. You've had a busy 
busy week or so. Yeah, well, let's see. I had a long week, guys. Um, uh, I went and took a trip, a family trip. Now, who who all went? Uh, me, Caitlin, mm-hmm. Little Wayne. Mm-hmm. You know, he was singing and all that good stuff in the car. Um, my brother in law, my future sister in law, and my nephew. Oh, okay. And my niece, if you count the one that's in her belly. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we won't count that one because it... yeah, she's still a smudge. Yeah, <laughs> she's got a name, but you know, it's her name is Brooklyn, Brooklyn, not Brooklyn. Oh, that's the going to be the baby's name. Yeah, yeah, the little girl. Oh, that's that's nice. That's not a bad name. No, not a bad. I name. like it. Sure, but uh, anyway, so does, so does New York. <clears throat> it's not spelled the same though. Okay. Mm-hmm. Different spelling, so it's it's official. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so we uh, took this trip to uh, Disney World, and uh, it was a good time. It was a very, That's good, man. It was a very good time. I haven't been to Disney in quite since since pr- really we went to Disney for a day, but it was kind of one of those things where we just did Magic Kingdom and it was okay. You know, my son was little. He couldn't really ride anything. Sure. We just went to go. And uh, so this time <clears throat> when we went, it's pretty much the the first time I've actually explored any of the parks since you and I went together. Sure. Which was probably about, what, five? No, it's longer than no, that. Longer than that, man. Like eight years eight ago. To, eight to ten years ago. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Pretty much. And well, it was a good time, man. And I'm like, I got to see the parks that I wanted to see, the parts of the park that I wanted to see. Um, <clears throat> Toy Story Land, the Star Wars Land. Um, uh, how did how did you like Star Wars? I loved it. It was f- fucking beautiful, dude. Like when you walk in the little area, it's not like a typical uh, park. All right. You know, when you walk into, like, Storyland or or everything, it's just like, here's the rides, there they are, here's some stuff to go to. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, there's no real rhyme or reason to it, you know? It's just there. Well, when you walk into the Star Wars park, it's a completely different thing. You're actually in uh, a different world, man. When you walk in, it's like, <clears throat> there's, like, um, there's really nothing. You, you don't see much. Like, you walk in and there's mountains, and then you see the hangar bay. Open up with the with the fucking Millennium full size Millennium Falcon sitting there, uh, and then you see the buildings, and then the buildings like some there's ships on top of the buildings, like gigantic fucking ships on top of the buildings. Um, there's like a droid uh, repair shop right in front of you when you walk up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you well, walk up. Pretty, it sounds pretty detailed. It's extremely detailed, dude. And there's like, like there's a. Um, I guess you say like a like a outside like bar kind of thing set up where you can buy like the blue milk and the weird stuff that they drink on on the um in Star Wars. Oh neat. Yeah. I had the blue milk by the way and it was very fucking tasty. What flavor is it? Uh it's like if you took a push pop. You remember those old push pops that like um that have like the star the sorbet in yeah. it? it? It's kinda like that blue colored, of course, and it's just melted down. Oh, okay. Into into a drink, so it's like a sweet kind of milky slushy thing. It's it's good. Neat. It's really good. Neat. I didn't want to drink the green one because uh, I know where the green one came from. If you remember the new Star Wars movie where Luke sucks the green titty milk out of the monster, I'm like, nope, I'm good. Wow. Yep. So I'm, I passed on the green milk. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. But no, dude, it's it's very, very, very cool. The ride is very fun. It's very interesting. There's only one ride in there right now. They're they're they haven't opened the second one yet. Um and the other ride is is you pilot the Millennium Falcon and it takes six people to pilot it, by the way. Okay. Um two pilots, two gunners, and two engineers, and uh it, you go on an adventure and if you don't if everybody doesn't work together the ride sucks. 
<laughs> but if everybody works together, it's fun as hell. Like it was a blast. My kid was he wanted to be the gunner so bad. So I pulled gunner the gunner card. Mm-hmm. So I gave it to him and he gave me his, which was the pilot. Thank God uh, I took the pilot seat and he did not have it because we would have been wrecked a lot. <laughs> uh, don't ever give a three year old the pilot to, <laughs> to the, the uh the um permission to fly the Millennium Falcon. No. <laughs> So uh, me and this other guy were pilots. Caitlin and my son were the uh, the gunners, and these two young ladies were the engineers. And it was really fun, dude. It was awesome. We had to go hijack some something and steal it and bring it back to somebody. It was okay, fun, cool. cool. Yeah, it was cool. Very, very cool. Um, so there was that. Uh, the queue itself was probably the most impressive thing because you could, you got to walk through like the hangar bay and there was like you know droids laying down and this you know discombobulated and and like the big hangar doors and you walk past the millennium falcon that's outside you know it's it was it was super super cool that's um, neat. yeah it, it's it, it's really neat uh one of the cooler things in it though is like there's several things you can do um it's not like your normal shops where you go into a shop and there's just a bunch of stuff to buy. Right. Uh, there is stuff like that there, but uh, one of the coolest things is is like you can build your own things in the in these shops, like certain ones. Like there's one that's like you can buy animals, Star Wars animals to keep as pets. And okay. you know the little thing um, uh, that sat next to Jabba, the little yes. laughy fucker. Mm-hmm. Um, there's like a bunch of them and you can pick and choose the colors you want and what it does and different things like that. And you can have him as a pet. He sits on you. You know, that's, it's really cool. Um, there's a build your own droid. Like you can go in and pick pieces and you put it together and you have your own astro astro droid, you know, like, Neat. and it's also remote control. So that's fucking cool, and then yeah. there's then there's build your own lightsaber, and it's you can put a nice fancy ass lightsaber together and your own, however you Neat. want it. Do they do they have? Do you have to pick out the jewels? And yes, everything? you pick up everything, the kyber Neat. crystal, everything. You do it all. Um, <clears throat> and uh, so my son wanted to do the droid, so I was like, okay, we'll do that. That's cool. That could be your one big, you know purchase at, at star wars land or at any park because i mean it was a hundred bucks right you know but i mean i figured it's a remote control you know it's something cool he could put together himself you know it was one of those things that i was like all right we'll do that <clears throat> so we went and put his little droid together he made a bb8 looking you know the ball one yeah he made one of those and uh he named it blue milk because that's what he drank that day <laughs> so that, that's the name of his his robot uh, but it's very cool. It's very awesome. I've played with it more than he has, probably. <laughs> um, and also, they told us that if you take the droid out and you move it around in the park, it re- uh, it the park um, reacts to it. Okay, like it does things. Like you, it, it'll react to different things in the park as well as you know the park reacting to it. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. That is neat, but. Like, why am I bringing another robot back to the park? Uh, you know what I'm saying? So. Gotcha. Gotcha. But, um, so that was that. Um, I see you spent some time at Toy Story Land. Yeah, we had to. I mean, that was that was the kid's favorite thing. Sure. Uh, you know, Toy Story. Um, the Toy Story Land was impressive. Small, but impressive. Like, I wasn't, um... Like, I was disappointed that there was only one ride in Star Wars, okay? You know, right. that's cool. I mean, I understand that. I mean, they're still working on it. It's still brand new. Toy Story Land, I was disappointed there was only three. And then one was one that they already had. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, they already had uh, Toy Story Mania. They just right. add, they just connected the um, the land part to Toy Story Mania, if that makes sense. I got you. I got you. I got you. Um, and then they added the Slinky Dog and the um, the Martian, uh, the the alien saucer ride. Sure. Okay. Both which were very fun. 
I thought the alien saucers was going to be just another version of uh, the teacups. But, yeah, but it's a little different. It's basically an alien is driving this car, and you're in the, you're in the back seat, and you're like you're like drifting, slings you around. It's pretty cool. It's fun. Oh, oh that sounds fun. Um, but Slinky Dog is where it's at, man. The Slinky Dog roller coaster is awesome. <laughs> My kid loved it. He rode it twice. That was his very first roller coaster, and after he got on that one, he wanted to go on all of them. Of course, <laughs> yeah. He's like, let's go on this one. I'm like, dude, you're too short. You can't go on that one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was it was fucking great, dude. Um, well, what what else, what else? Anything uh, the, besides those two parts of the park? What what did you like about? I, I finally I finally got to ride the um, what is it the Sin- Snow White's mine cars. If you remember when we went last time, right? They were building it. Right, right. Well, I finally got to ride it, and it was tremendous. That was probably the best roller coaster in disney very cool yeah it's very short but it's mm-hmm. very fun it's cool it's got a good movement to it and it just flows really well the only problem is it's fucking tight to fit in it mm. like the you know it- it's it's the seats like yeah. the, the seats are like these bucket seats that suck you know what i'm saying it's like sitting in one of those fucking booster seats it's got to be uh, i'm thinking they just that was where it's located it had to be revamped because they used to have one called the runaway mine car Long time ago, I don't know at Disney, and I, I'm I'm probably betting that it's that space revamped. No, 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 no. It's not that because where that's at is where fifty thousand leagues under the sea or whatever twenty thousand leagues was. No, twenty thousand leagues is in the pond in the mill. It's not, yeah, and it's gone. The that's, pond's gone. Yeah, that's where it's at now. Oh yeah, they took that out where the center where you know where fantasy no, is it fantasy land they call it whatever. In Magic Kingdom, I can't remember which land. It's got to be Fantasyland. There's Fantasy. There's a World of Tomorrow. There's all sorts of lands. Yeah, I think it's Fantasy. We're, we're like, um, yeah, because that, that's where Twenty Thousand Leagues was. It was right in that area, right in that center part. That's gone. I know. Oh, okay. And they put that on top of it. I got gotcha. you. I got. And then behind, so and then behind that's like where the Little Mermaid and all that stuff is behind that area. So I wonder where they what they ever did with the Runaway Mine Car. I don't know. I don't remember that one. You don't remember that? No, I re- really, really, really don't, man. I do remember you. Are you are you thinking about um, Thunder Rail, Big Thunder Railroad, or whatever it is? No, no, over, I know that o- one. Over, just... over by fucking Brer Rabbit and shit. No, but I do remember that. That was a fun ride. Yeah, it was a good one. Now, this one was just you were in a mine car and it just took off. I don't. It was kind of like it was kind of like remember the old ride, the mouse. Yeah, the crazy mouse thing. Crazy mouse. It yeah. was a lot like that, but with more, of course, detail. You had rock cliffs and right. shit like that. And right. Yeah. I don't remember that one, man. I, that sucks. Uh, I have to look that one up. It's been a long time. Weird. Yeah, it's been a while. But, uh, well, it sounds like you had a great time at the park. How how was the, uh, the experience of Not-So-Scary Halloween? All right, so I dug it for one reason and one reason only is because we could get on the rides pretty pretty easily. Sure. I mean, they were like, you know, 25-minute waits instead of like 65-minute waits. Uh, gotcha. and, and there was no sun, so that was really nice because it wasn't so hot. Right. Uh, but the whole trick-or-treat thing was just kind of silly. Okay. You know, I mean, I get it. It's cool for like kids to go and put candy in in a bag. You know, like you just walk like when you get out of a ride. Here's a candy station kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But it to me, it just congested everything. It made more people crowd up in certain places that would normally not be crowded in. And okay. um, you know, I mean, it was fun. I get it. I, but my favorite part of the whole night, though, was the. Uh, the um was it spooktacular thing that they did not not just the parade but this thing right. that they did with the castle just blew me the fuck away like, oh yeah it was that's the always most amazing. it was the coolest thing I've ever seen man and now we were really close we were like up front mm-hmm. and like Jack Skeleton comes walking out and he starts talking to people and shit it was it was super super cool man. Oh, that is cool, man. That sounds like it'd be great. Yeah, that was awesome. And, like, all the things they did with the the, the um, castle was super cool. And, you know, it was just fun. It was really, really fun. Um, 
we got to eat it, some of the weird treats that they do. Like uh, oh, okay. some of the they what they do now is, um, Adam said they didn't do this before, but what they do now is they take um, they make special foods. Oh yeah, I, I watched a whole bunch of stuff the, on YouTube about yeah, the special for the, foods for the events. Yeah, and uh, we got to eat a couple of them. Um, the Jack and Sally push pops were messy and didn't taste that good. Okay. Um, and the uh, bride from uh, Haunted Mansion, her wedding cake was meh. It was okay. Okay. It wasn't really wedding cake. It was mostly like pudding, and it was just like formed into a cake. Like you know, it looked like a small little bitty wedding cake. Okay. Uh, what else did we try? Um, um, I think that's really it. The one thing I really wanted to try, but I wasn't hungry, was the fucking Lotso burger, which was a hamburger with uh, Lotso burned in the top of it, but inside was uh, like a hamburger with like bacon jelly and a few other things inside of it. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I wanted to try it, but I was like, man, I don't, I don't want to just buy a fifteen dollar hamburger and not eat it. You know what I mean? Right, right. But did speaking of buying stuff, did you see uh, how, how some of the shops? I mean, did you get? I'm sure you went into some other shops, looked at stuff, shirts, and and things. Oh like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. We looked around, man. I mean, the prices were fucking steep, like super oh, steep, yeah. like you know, normal Disney prices. We we went to Disney Springs though, and. uh picked up a few items from disney springs you know it's nice isn't it disney springs is loved it now, dude. I've been, i was there last time i was down to Florida. i didn't go to the park but i was at uh i did disney springs and then of course i did uh city walk but um right. disney springs wow they really transformed the shit out of that place that place is beautiful man like oh it's gorgeous only had one problem the whole time we were there What's that? we went to go eat at uh the rainforest cafe oh yeah and uh, so we sit down, order our food. Don't get me wrong; we didn't order anything spectacular. We ordered some sandwiches and, and um, uh, some chicken nuggets for the kid. Mm-hmm. Well, fifteen minutes goes by, no waitress. Twenty-five minutes goes by, no waitress. Thirty minutes goes by, waitress comes by and says, "Y'all okay?" We're like, "Yeah, okay." Disappears. Another 30 minutes goes by. Why didn't you tell that waitress you wanted to order? We ordered. Oh. This is what I'm saying. We had That was after we ordered our food. <laughs> oh, I would have said, where's our food? No, wait. She 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 said, you know, she disappeared. And, came, and then, another like, we were there an hour. Caitlin looked at me, and she says, this is crazy. I said, yeah, I mean, I can't keep the kids still. I mean, keeping a kid still for an hour is a long time for a child. Sure. You know, and he wanted to get up and go do stuff and this and that. And I was like, Ugh. so she was like, fuck this. Let's leave. I was like, okay, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, I was willing to wait. I didn't care. You know, it was whatever. But she wasn't feeling it. She wasn't feeling good now because she'd been sitting there forever, hungry, waiting, getting aggravated. You know how that happens when you get pissed off and you just don't feel like whatever you plan on doing. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we get up. Me and I take the kid out out in the front to go pass time while we wait, I wait for K- Caitlin because she's going. Look, I'm going to tell, tell these people that you know we don't want our food. We're leaving. And I was like, Oh, okay. So I went outside and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And she comes out like ten minutes after. She goes, You never guess what? I said, What? She goes, I went to tell somebody, you know, hey, we're just going to leave. We'll pay for our drinks and we'll go. And uh. As soon as I tell them, she walks away, the lady walks away, and then here comes somebody with our food. And then they said, uh, she's like, I don't want it. Like, look, we've been waiting here a long time. I don't want that food. You know, she goes, we can box it up and you guys can, you know, pay it. And we're like, no. You know, and then to find out, the waitress left. She she was off duty. She, She took our order and then. Left. Change your shift. Yeah. And never told us one thing. So I was like, fuck this place. <laughs> wow. Well, that kind of sucks, man. Yeah, I was not feeling that, man. I was. So oh, where where did you end up eating? Uh, we left. We, we left Disney Springs in and ate uh, K, uh, not KFC, Chick Fil A. 
if you'd have left there and um, going up through Disney Springs to the where they just added that new section, you kind of walk through this. Looks like a train depot. It's this real long covered brick area. Uh huh. Right on the other side of that, from the area where the Rainforest Cafe is, on the yeah. right hand side, there is a very, 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 very good uh, chicken place right there. No shit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, super good, man. And they had, uh, and they're fast. It was. It was. That's where I ate last time I was there. Man, that's it cool. was amazing next time i'll fi- you know i'll, I'll like we were, i've never been so we're just like there were the two big restaurants right in the way it was that one in t-rex and caitlin had to eat t-rex two two days in a row because my son loved it so much mm. so you know we were just figured okay well let's go try the other one which is basically the same fucking restaurant kind of yeah but they sucked uh well yeah you know whatever it is what it is um uh it's yeah. more it's more uh, about the ambiance there than it is the food. Really? Yeah, I know. Yeah. But yeah, so on that note, guys, we'll be right back uh after this commercial. A brand new store. Amazing collectibles. You need to check out North Shore Pop Culture Collectibles, specializing in all things Funko. Funko. Pop culture. Buy, sell, or trade. North Shore Pop Culture Collectibles is the place for serious collectors. And when they say specializing in all things Funko, they're not kidding. This inventory is massive. So much stuff! So many items at North Shore Pop Culture Collectibles. You never know what you're gonna find. You may find another gem you weren't even looking for. So don't forget to call or stop by North Shore Pop Culture Collectibles, specializing in all things Funko. Located at 1394 Corporate Square Boulevard, Slidell, Louisiana, 70458, or call 985-265-4279. Check them out! It's Funko! It's pop culture! You can't go wrong. Funko! Pop culture! Um, so, back to my trip. Uh, so Adam came out, uh, and met us on, uh, Thursday. He came yeah, out, it yeah. was awesome. It was, it was very, very cool that he very, did that. Yeah, it was very cool. He came out on Thursday. Uh, of course, unfortunately, we were, we were at Not So Scary that whole night, so we didn't get home till like, 1 in the morning, you know, to the hotel. Uh, he's already at the hotel. We had, you know, we had his name on the list so he can get in. And, uh... So he, he was there. We bullshit for a little bit and went to sleep. And then me and him went to Universal the next morning. Uh, oh, cool! Yeah. So we did. Um, we did both parks early in the morning. We did both parks, mm-hmm. which was very fun. You know, riding the Harry Potter stuff and you know doing uh, you know your your basic stuff, uh, Men in Black, and um, uh, I forget all the ride. Uh, the Mummy, of course, could not yeah. could not go without riding the Mummy. Um, and, um, uh, you know, we just sticked around. He, he also had reservations at, uh, I fucking cannot remember the name of this restaurant, but it's the big ass chocolate. Re- look like Willy Wonka in a chocolate factory. Oh, I, I ate there. Very good, dude. Man, the food's awesome. And the, uh, the Sundays are fucking extreme, man. They're like <laughs> man versus food fucking Sundays. Right. Well, I, I got this thing. Uh, we both got this thing. It was a flourless chocolate cake. It mm-hmm. came with a scoop of um nutella ice cream it's a chocolate emporium is what it is it was so fucking good dude oh yeah i know we and, spent and like uh, i said the we food spent so much time there it wasn't even funny yeah it was fun it was nice to look around and it was cool and people were nice there and i i really recommend that restaurant if anybody goes if i can remember the name of it i'll tell you but it, it's right on it's right outside city walk Oh, you can't miss it. You can't it. miss it. It, 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 it looks it like Willy something Wonka's chocolate. chocolate. It is something chocolate emporium, though. Yeah, yeah. It's just... uh, but one of my favorite places I ate when I ate there last time, I ate three places at that <laughs> park. I ate there. I also ate at the very, very, very cool uh, Mexican restaurant. Which one uh, is that? I, I didn't see that one. 
Oh, how did you miss that one? It's like fucking Day of the Dead all over the place. Really? <laughs> oh my gosh, is it amazing? And they have a stage inside and sweet. It it's super super cool. And then we also ate a cowfish. Oh, you ate a cowfish? How was cowfish? Because as Adam said, it was terrible. Oh, I like cowfish. Adam said it was terrible because he had a hamburger there and he said it wasn't any good. Because I was come like, on. "Ooh, cowfish, man, that looks good." Come come on, Adam. My my hamburger was freaking amazing. It was. Uh, it was, it was about a half pound burger. It had the one I got, it had, uh, caramelized onions on it, bacon, three types of cheese, mushrooms, the damn th- lettuce and tomato and onion. And it was stacked up, dude. It was a fucking monster. That sounds fantastic. It was fantastic. And the hand cut fries. And then I had, uh, we went back again <laughs> and I got, uh, the sushi. And how was that? The sushi was amazing, and it was huge, a huge. I mean, I ordered the um, the cowfish sampler of sushi, uh-huh. and there was uh, you got four different rolls, and they were like like fourteen piece rolls on what? the sushi board. Yeah, man, it was huge. Man, I gotta gotta go over there then. I have to take uh, uh, I have to take. I Caitlin thought it was there. absolutely phenomenal, uh, but I mean, you can everybody has I their mean, own yeah. experience there, you know, and each their own, and, man. Yeah, eat your own. Adam's a little picky about eating, so maybe something he didn't like. So I mean, you know, he orders his hamburger, meat, no vegetables. Yeah, yeah just I, I just want a patty on a bun, you know. But I I like give me something amazing, you know. If I'm going there, I want I want I want, the, all, uh, I want all out. Yeah, I want I want the experience, you know. I just don't want fucking Applebee's. I want, I want a experience. sushi burger. Yeah, you know, they, which they had that. Did they really? They had a hamburger with, uh, you could get the one that they were featuring that day yeah. had, uh, it was a hamburger with wasabi wow, and, and, uh, California crab rolls on top and, uh, crunch rolls and every, oh, it was awesome. I was, I was just staring at everybody's food when it came out. Yeah. I mean, I would, I would go man versus food on some shit like that. Oh know, yeah. Just yeah. do some crazy shit. But that, that Mexican restaurant, you get a chance to go to it, man. It just, it is so much fun. The building is freaking amazing. It looks That's like cool. something out of, uh, what was that, uh, day of the dead move? Coco. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 It kind of, it kind of had that type of whimsical outside. Very, very to cool. It. Lots of colored lights. And, and then you go in and everybody's, <laughs> you know, a lot of face painting going well, we on. Know, we and, know you and your colored lights. You're like, Ooh, Ooh, gotta be, you know, and, and, oh man, the fucking food was awesome. Yeah, I bet so it was. Good. Um, and we, we sat right up on the stage and got to hear the band. And that's it was cool. very, very nice. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. There's so much stuff to do there. And well, so many different things you can get, like, you can eat or get involved with, you know? Yeah, just keep rolling with it. Speaking of rolling with it, we were talking about uh, Universal Studios, and yes. I understand that you and Adam both went to Halloween Horror Nights. Yes. The Halloween Horror Nights is my all-time favorite thing to do at Universal, and we went this year. I was super excited. Uh, we got to see, I think we went to four houses, but I cannot remember the fourth house to save my life. You went to see Ghostbusters. We did. We saw Ghostbusters, which was phenomenal. Was, uh, uh, effects were you great. Did, you did. Did you get to see Stranger Things? No, because Stranger Things line was three hours, and I wasn't about to do that. What about Creep Show? Um, that one wasn't there this year. Yeah, it was Creep Show. I didn't see that one on the list. Yeah, Creep, Creep Show was there. I, reason I'm bringing it up is like I watched. I cheated. <laughs> I went through Universal Horror Nights in a uh a walk first person. Yeah, walk through nice. on YouTube. With one of my uh, favorite actresses, nice. she was she was doing the walkthrough, and uh, I got well, to watch the whole thing. It depends on where she's at. If she was in the Los Angeles one, it's different. Creep show, well, know- creep show could have been in that one because um, the Los Angeles, uh, LA one. I noticed that like the houses are named the same, but the insides were different on some of them. Okay. Yeah, because like uh, one of the guy was doing a walkthrough of the Ghostbusters, and I was like, I didn't see that in the Ghostbusters house. And then they were doing one of um, the Rob Zombie house from uh, the House of a Thousand Corpses, and that one was way different too. Oh, okay. Yeah, Interesting. Yeah. yeah, it was. It was the layouts were different. Well, how can you? I mean, what other houses did you go in? Well, I did House of a Thousand Corpses. I did. Uh, we did Ghostbusters. We did. Um, uh, the third one we did was Killer Clowns from Outer Space, which was. Awesome. 
Dude, that was so much fun to see those ridiculous clowns jumping out at you. <laughs> um, uh, the House of a Thousand Corpses one was great. You walk in and uh, it's like the fucking gas station from the first movie when you walk in and, and there's uh, Captain Spaulding standing behind the, 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 the counter saying, come on, come to the murder ride. Come see. Come see what we got back here. And don't forget your fried chicken. And he's like wagging a fucking piece of chicken in your face. <laughs> It was it was awesome, dude. Like they were really, really, really awesome sh- shits. Like, and what day so did you do that on? Uh, we did that Friday night. See, that's that's the tough part about doing it on the weekends, though, man. With you anywhere Friday and Saturday, I usually do uh, Halloween Horror Nights in the middle of the week, and you can usually hit all the houses. Well, I get it, but that was the only time Adam had off, so that's when he met us. And okay, pl- okay, and, and plus, it. that's what we did with, you know, we were done with all the um, Disney stuff at that point. So we finished Disney, and then that's that was the next day. How about the uh, how about the outside the scare zones and stuff like that? Oh man, they were cool. Uh, they had a Zombie Land one, which was very cool. Um, they had uh, the best one though. The best scare zone was the Rob Zombie scare zone because it had these giant like um, platforms up. Okay. With with fucking go go dancers dancing on them. They yeah. Had, they had a fucking. Um, a a like a a stage set up with like this big number six 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 and had somebody sta- sitting in an electric chair and this woman was whipping him with a whip and she was half she was half naked and she was hitting the electric chair thing and shocking his ass and shit while he was on there that was fucking cool they had um the drag racer from Dragula was nice was out there um the big robot looking thing from that from um yeah, that video yeah. he that was there walking around. And they had um, the guy and the girl from the Living Dead Girl video was there walking around in, in their little stage outfit. So that was a very cool situation. The the best thing of the night, hands down, uh, out of all the stuff, you know, food and show, you know, food and shows and, you know, whatever. There was a show there called the Academy of Villains. Oh, Yes. Those people, I watched that. It was very good. Were incredible. If you go to Halloween Horror Nights, you got to see that show. I mean, I know it's the, it's the end. No one's going to be able to go because they're they're can't they're stopping it in a couple well, in a week. What did you like about it? Oh, it was just fantastic. The whole thing, man. I mean, the music was great. The freaking the dancing, the fucking juggling, the the fire, and it was just awesome. Very cool, man. Yeah, I, I enjoyed watching it too. It was a, um, they they always do something great like that every year, you know. And it's uh, right. Remember when they used to do the old Bill and Ted show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved that. I used to love to go to see that. It was so adult, though. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, for sure. Definitely not for kids. Well, I mean, the whole shit is adult now. Oh yeah, yeah. In fact, I think you have to be at least eighteen to get in. Oh okay. Oh, yeah, it's a good change. Um. But yeah, like that was the best show I've ever seen ever at any horror nights. Very cool, man. So I mean, you guys go check those people out because they're extremely great. In fact, I messaged them on uh, on um, Instagram to try to talk to them and get them on the show because I was now, blown away by them. Now you can see that show if you're not going to make it to Halloween Horror Nights. You can see this year's show, uh, uh, Academy of Villains, on YouTube. So if you go if check you it out. Have- Definitely check it out. It's worth seeing. And uh, be on the lookout because uh, me and Adam did a video, and uh, I'm editing it now in the next couple of days to uh, put it up on YouTube. So look look for it. Very cool. But, yeah, that's well, my, it's, that's that, a busy week, man. That was my week, you know, also dealing with, the you know, the, the kid, the family, and, you know, all that stuff. It was fun. We had a good time. Well, well that's good, man. I'm glad you I'm glad you got to go out and let loose for a little while. Yes. Yes. We need to go back, man. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> come on. You come with me this time. Let's go. Let's uh, do this. That would be no. I'd love to do it. I'd Let's do it. Let's do it. We'd do have it. a blast, man. We'll get stuck on that fucking roller coaster again. I saw that. I saw you saw it get stuck again, right? <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I was laughing. I was like, oh, yeah, me and Rome experienced that for a little while. That was funny. But ours was stuck on the top. On the top, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
whatever. But which we, is, which, it, but it was still fun. At least it only lasted for like a minute, like for yeah. us, for us. But for them, it was like all day. <laughs> Boy, would I be pissed! Right? I just paid eighty dollars to sit on top of this roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good time though, man. Very good time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. My week, my week's been nothing but um, we've been uh, baking up a storm. Uh, I know. Going to different events. Uh, we did the local parade here and set up and uh, uh, selling, selling, you know, all that the chimney cakes and stuff like that. Man, it's been, it's been a wild, busy, crazy, exhausting time, but it's it's been worth it. But and that's great, gonna, dude. That's great. Yeah, yeah, and then we're getting ready to head out and uh, after the doctor's appointment and everything, and then um, I've got two other events out of out of town, uh, and then uh, head back up here, and then we've got the uh, William uh, Wilmington, North Carolina dessert market we're doing at nice. Waterline Brewery, and um, that one is expected to pull in about, uh, and it's it's only for four hours, and uh, right now with the VIP with the tickets sold, yeah, they have over uh, eight thousand people. Oh, dude, that's going to be nice. So we're going to be doing that. Uh, we've also got, um, oh, my God, we've got uh, Sunset Beach Christmas Market or, or Fall Market. Uh, we've got two in uh, uh, Shalote, North Carolina, uh, different types of uh, events there. And then we've got a couple of private functions uh, coming up, too. So it's going to be a busy couple months, but I, I, I think like it's, it. all, it's going to be worth it. And uh well, I sent you a couple pictures so you can see like one, some of this private event stuff we're doing and stuff. I did, so and then and I was enjoying the the cakes that it, you need to send me. Man, that was uh, that was, <laughs> that was a, a lot of work. Of, that was a lot of work, dude. That was uh, that was seventy eight uh, seventy eight dozen cookies. Jesus Christ, man! And then there was. Uh, Another forty some dozen of mini cakes, like pedophore cakes. That was a lot of shit, a lot of stuff. That sounds like a lot of shit. But uh, and we're getting into the Christmas season time, so uh, then we've got uh, we have a commissary kitchen, so we can uh, produce a little bit faster. And we've got uh, over fifty orders. We have to deliver to. Uh, uh, there are going to be holiday uh, cookie trays and and cake trays and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I have to rent a uh, special a specialty truck with racks uh, to get it all up there. Where we have a major delivery for the uh, Catholic diocese in Washington D.C. Dude, that's so cool. It's it's really really kind of cool, and it, it's I'm very thankful. Uh, but I'm, we're also very exhausted, but, uh, we're just going to keep pumping it out, man. And, yeah, dude, uh, I would. Yeah. Just, y'all just keep following work, it. work, man. I'm excited. I'm excited for y'all. And, um, um, uh, looking to, uh, book, uh, there's a few festivals, uh, and stuff that we're going to be doing, uh, I believe here in 2020, we should be coming down, uh, towards New Orleans. So. Well, that'd be good too. Cause we can pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it, and get you ass some more people out there come visit you. Yeah, that'll be great. Definitely a good time. There's there's going to be a dessert market in uh, the an international dessert market uh, in uh, down in the quarter somewhere that we're on the list nice. to do. So that should be fun. Nice. I, w- I wish I wish uh, I could guarantee you guys a bunch of uh, a bunch of clientele, but I would tell y'all to come to the um, uh, one of the nights at the uh, unholy nights in February. To park the truck, oh. out, to park the truck out there and make some money, but I don't know. I can't guarantee, you know. Yeah, it'd be worth it for you guys. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be a, it's a lot going on, but it's it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. So. Amazing, dude. That's great news. Great news. Keep up the fucking good work. Trying, definitely trying, man. And, and anything left over, send it to me because I'm a <laughs> yeah. fat guy that likes food. Oh man, you would love the fucking shit that <laughs> God knows stuff that Amy puts out is is absolutely phenomenal. That's why you married her. That's right. Yep. That's right. I used to, I used to weigh sixty five pounds. I know. Now you weigh two hundred and sixty five pounds. Yeah, I weigh two hundred sixty five pounds. 
<sighs> but uh, yeah, it, it's hard not trying to eat everything. You know, I, I guess out. not, dude. I mean, I'd be this. I'd have the same fucking problem. Oh my gosh. Oh, but anyway, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for me, man. I haven't been doing much anything else but yeah, that. Yeah. Well, we we we, we did our, our Halloween miniature golf, which was kind of was cool. that fun? Was that cool? That that was fun. I I've got pictures on uh, nice. on Facebook of it. Uh, we, the, the people, some of the people dressed up like witches. I was a bank robber. I saw that. That was funny. And uh, uh, Johnny was, uh, you know, the baby shark song. Yes. Okay. Of course you do. You have a kid. Uh, he had a shark costume, so when you take your hands and you motion it like the m- mouth of a shark, like up and down, like you're clapping, <laughs> yeah, it it plays Baby Shark. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> it was it was horrible. So uh, it w- it was an interesting grouping of people, but uh, yeah, we had blast. Sounds it was, fun. It yeah, it was a good time. Good time. Well, th- this one this <clears throat> this episode will drop uh, on, is dropping today, which is Halloween Day. So we hope okay. every, we hope everybody. Uh, is having fun and is going to go out. And if you have children, go out, trick or treat, you know, treat right. them well, do what you got to do. Enjoy yourselves. You know, do all the fun stuff. Drink, uh, eat some pop rocks, drink a Pepsi, you know, uh, you know, eat a, you know, eat a candy bar with a razor in it. Whatever do some you heroin, do, whatever you got to do. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, have a good time anyway. Um, sure. I, I know I'll be either leaving to go bring my child to slide L or, Staying home because it's raining. I haven't. I don't know yet. I don't know what the weather's going to be like. Oh, yeah, there's that. <clears throat> Did you die? No, I was yawning. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Good. Just making sure you weren't <laughs> dead. There's a quite long pause there. So Sorry. I was um, yawning. Couldn't stop. But anyway, now that rum is bored, um, I guess we're, <laughs> we're going to cut off, guys. Um. So tune in next week for some more interesting shows. We're going to have some guests. Uh, Kevin will be on the show this week. Um, He's been bitching at me saying, what, we don't like the black man anymore. I was like, I never said that once. Um, (laughs) But, you know, you know how he is. He got to throw the race in there. But and don't forget, uh, yeah, it's Halloween. We've got uh, two other episodes. Just go back. Uh, Both of them are great. We've got the one Halloween episode. Halloween event, the uh, Red River Coven, yep, and the, the last one we just did, we were talking about a lot of stuff Halloween in that episode. So. Yeah, and then we just uh, drop the um, the segment oh, episodes oh, too. You know, the where, where salute, you to salute to segments. Check go. that out too. It's you know, giving props to all our people out there that are doing stuff for us. So um, anyway, thanks you guys for joining us. Um, like I said, tune in next week. We're gonna have some more wacky, wild stuff. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. Uh, I was your host, Wayne. And I'm the rum guy. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to keep it, keep it, horny. Horny! That's it.